It's a real pleasure to be here. And uh, yeah, it's great to see everybody online and reconnect with, with the community. So that's great. Now tell us about the things that you help the community with when we can be together in person. Sure. Uh, so I'm, I'm a big fan of, of the whole DevNet program. It's been one of the best things that's, that's come out of Cisco. Uh, it's one of those things which uh, allows us to uh, get uh, more value out of the the equipment and and technology that we've already invested in. So being able to to use um, things in ways that maybe maybe Cisco didn't come up with, you know, to be able to pull data from different places and, and make that work is makes things really interesting, and helps us provide more value. So that's that's been really good. One one of the really cool things about about the way the whole DevNet program's been structured is that um, when you've got lots of technologies, mainly from acquisitions in, in some cases, uh, they've been using and developing APIs in different ways. So that, that actually makes it hard to, to adopt a technology. But what DevNet's done is walk through almost every technology in the Cisco portfolio and said, well, this is how you get started. This is how you use this thing. This is how you interact and authenticate and ask for, for data and put data into this thing. And, and breaks down those barriers. I haven't seen another vendor do that. So that's that's been really positive and made things really interesting and valuable. Well, thank you so much for um, for sharing that with, with the rest of us. And I'm so glad that it's been valuable. And expand if you can a little bit more on how you've built, you've, um, you know, you've, like you said, done things that Cisco maybe hadn't thought of and, um, you know, what that means for your company and and customers. Well, one of the things that's been really, really cool, and it's it's been a, a fixture of mine when I've when I've gone to Cisco Live in Europe is the DevNet Express event ahead of Cisco Live. And uh say like with the security one, we're able to do do things that were really useful across multiple technologies. So we're able to uh analyze a a uh, a piece of malware. So trap the malware, analyze the malware, profile that malware. Uh so using umbrella and threat grid and um you know, FTD and, and and integrate multiple technologies. We did all that in the space of two days. Now, normally those kind of projects take a long time to pull together. They involve talking to lots of people and there's finance and approvals and all these things get involved and it slows things down. It, it really hampers innovation. So being able to spend two days um, hacking around with, with some of the some of the technologies and being guided through the experts and also being able to to bounce ideas off our peers and, and make something work at the end of those two days that hit all these technologies was, was really helpful. And then we could take the, take all that away and industrialize it uh, for our business and our customers. So we can bring together real value by, uh, by bringing synergies of multiple technologies together. That's ideal. That's, that really is ideal. And I'm so glad that you've seen the value in it and, um, and, and really taken um, you know, advantage of the opportunities, you know, like maybe we don't have that right now. We're not able to do the DevNet Express this time around, but I sure look forward to the next time we're able to to do a DevNet Express. And, um, you know, like I said, you've, I've seen you there and it's really a great start before the conference, I find, because it's, it's like the warm up. You're all really working on something and then, then you go to the week long conference. So I'm so glad that you've been part of that with us. Now, I got to ask you Fantastic. a question. Sure. What does community mean to you? Well, community is is uh, a, a group of people and, and maybe a place where we can uh, share ideas and bounce ideas off each other and build upon that. And that's something that's that's been really good within the Cisco environment. We've we've got um, a number of WebEx teams chat rooms, you know, with with a lot of people, especially with like the Cisco Champions community. And it's a place that I know that I can go with an idea, and I may not have even the idea worked out yet. Maybe not even a solution, but I can, I can ask that group and ask that community, uh, and reach out to people on Twitter. You know, I've had responses from like Hank and John McDonough on on Twitter how to how to do stuff, which has been useful. Um, but I can I can reach out to those various places, and now with um, being able to do code exchange, um, some idea which I may be having now and think it's a new idea, someone else may have already solved. Someone else may have hit that problem and solved it for me, which is great for me because I can I can borrow in bit of commas their code and, and get stuff done. So the community for me is a, is a great place for being able to share ideas and and you know in some cases maybe be uh, be open to being told that your ideas maybe not not great and could 
uh, and allow the other people to refine it. So that's been really good. Well, if there is a thing such as a DevNet power user, if we could call it that, I think that's you. So thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, Thanks again thank for your you contributions to the DevNet and Cisco champion communities. It's all kind of like a big community, um, but you you always help people out. And um, I just wanted to say thank you for that. Well, thank you very much.